Imagine a cold morning in 1889. The bustling streets of Paris are filled with vendors shouting over one another, carts creaking as they roll across cobblestone roads, and pedestrians dodging their way through the chaos. At the very center of it all, standing on the edge of a construction site in the heart of the Champs de Mars, a man named Gustave Eiffel raises his hand to signal his workers. The workers who are building what many people believe will be the greatest folly in the history of mankind. The Eiffel Tower, we know it today as one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, a shimmering beacon of architectural genius. But in 1889, this soaring iron structure was considered a massive eyesore, hated by artists, writers, and deep-thinking intellectuals alike. Gustav didn't need to read the newspapers to know how unpopular his project was. Everywhere he went, debates raged about the monstrosity being constructed in the middle of Paris. People referred to it as the hollow candle or the metal asparagus, and oh, the complaints were savage. One critic famously described it as an inescapable nightmare, decrying Eiffel as a villain who dared insult the beauty of Paris. And yet, Gustave Eiffel pressed on. Building this tower wasn't just about satisfying his own ego or proving his engineering skills. For Gustave, this was about exploring what iron could do, about defying gravity, redefining architecture, and creating something Paris, whether they liked it or not, would never forget. But here's the part of the story they don't teach you in school. The Eiffel Tower wasn't just an architectural marvel. It secretly helped shape the future of science in ways you wouldn't expect. You see, once the Eiffel Tower was completed, it wasn't only tourists and skeptics admiring, if reluctantly, the view from its summit. It quickly became a coveted platform for scientists who saw it as an unprecedented opportunity to conduct high-altitude experiments without having to ascend dangerous mountains. One of the tower's earliest visitors was a French meteorologist who wanted to understand weather patterns that couldn't be studied at Earth's surface. Every day, he climbed the tower's dizzying staircases, hauling bulky barometers and thermometers on his back. His findings about air pressure and temperature at height would influence meteorology for years to come. 